Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization 5 as Austria. So today we'll again be working on some city-state alliances, marriages, but uh, other than that there is one more or one other big goal I have for this episode. I want to spread our religion to Indonesia because they don't have their own religion and if we somehow succeed and make our religion their main religion, then we won't have to worry about reformation most likely because they will just do all the hard work for us, spread the religion, and we should get the 20% coverage. And finally, for the first time, I'll be able to reform my religion in one city challenge and actually see what reformation beliefs offer for one city challenge. So that's that. Also, I made um, a few or decided on a few changes when it comes to which city states I want to focus on. I will go after Brussels and Wellington. I want the food from Wellington and I want, of course, the culture from Brussels. Here we will have to fight for the city state with the Ottomans, but I'll send a great diplomat this way. Uh, which should uh, significantly reduce their influence and maybe with one emissary on top of that. Uh, we will be able to get the alliance for long enough to get the marriage. So those are the goals. And maybe one thing before I end the turn. There was a suggestion in comments that I might be able to win the, these culture races and get the reward uh, for the extra happiness. I agree that the happiness would be pretty damn good. But um, I don't think that even if I get a writer and pop him for flat culture i'll be able to just uh, get enough culture from that to win this race uh here for example we are six turns into the race and we are 600 uh culture behind so uh, someone is getting over or around 100 culture per turn more than we are and i think this difference will be increasing. Um, with one city, it's very difficult to catch up with all those large sieves, or or even keep up with all the like main sieves. So I'll keep an eye on this, or I'll try to remember to keep an eye on this. And if we, let's say, after twenty turns, somehow are still close enough that the writer would make a difference. I think it would be worth it popping him for the flat culture instead of for great work to get the, the happiness from the from these rewards. But um, I don't think it's like very likely that even with the great writer we're gonna have enough for this. I think in the end the difference uh, is gonna be around seven thousand between us and the leader, and there is no way we get seven thousand flat culture from a writer at this point. So that just. Uh, uh, I wanted to answer that uh, that suggestion. Okay, now we can end the turn. Hopefully I won't waste any production this time. The previous episode, I think I wasted like maybe seven, eight turns worth of production. And in one city challenge, that's actually a pretty big deal. Because that's basically uh, comparable to wasting seven or eight turns of production of your whole empire in the normal game so yeah that's a lot okay uh the trireme is safe again so let's send uh, or i'll set the caravel on auto explorer the trireme goes home we repair it and then it will auto explore as well um casimir yeah, he has his own chocolate now. Who wants our chocolate? Sweden. I think that's the last save without chocolate. So let's make sure it's us. We'll sell it to them. I'm actually surprised that Poland didn't sell. They should have a second copy. What the hell? They still want it? Can you give me six gold per turn? Probably not. But we can get five. Just more than we are getting from, or we would get from Sweden. How is it possible he doesn't have his own chocolate? This is a plantation. I'm not sure if this is a plantation, but I'd be surprised uh, if 
these three tiles were not improved. And he's still buying. There's something very, very odd. But okay, well. I guess I'll just take his gold and we have a trade with them for another modifier. Um, uh, let's check our great people, by the way. You'll get the writer in 20. Oh, less than 25. Oh, and can I somehow get the writer faster? Probably not. I have to wait for the city to grow. I need to work all these tiles. Maybe if I stop working this. Still 12 turns to grow, losing. A little bit of gold peritone is not the end of the world. And two production shouldn't really change that much. And then we get the writer in 20. Okay, I think this is better. And in 20 turns, when we get the writer, we can check the culture race again. And by the time we'll know how much we can get from the writer and see uh, if we have the chance. Okay, uh, next. I'm already moving our emissaries north, waiting f uh, to finish the astronomy. Uh, then all the emissaries will head for Wellington. I think we should also, yeah, here. I knew that we would get diplomat pretty soon. So about the same time, or at the same time, we'll actually we'll send the diplomat to Brussels and try to get both the city-states on our side, basically at the same time. Now, I may need some more emissaries, and because we always have to wait four turns after we buy one, I will just buy them always as soon as possible, so that I can get the next one quickly. 45. I have a feeling I'm gonna need a great diplomat and at least one emissary to get uh, Brussels. I'm not sure about Wellington. Let's be ready for that. Next. City of, I mean, city states for trade routes. Just checking. So I have a feeling I forgot to do something. Um. Well, hopefully, again, it's just a feeling. Public decoration, don't care. Oh, actually, they're, they're protecting Vatican? That's actually great, because I thought they are thinking about attacking the city-state with all the units sitting around it. Well, fine, now we don't have to worry about that. Oh, the uh, musician, that's just another great work. With 22 tourism, try to just optimize. No, I don't think that we got anything out of this. Okay, cargo ship. Uh, can we finally reach a regal? Nine, six, ten, nine, six. Yeah, I think that will be actually it's five, six, ten, nine, six, ten. That's bonus I raise nine. Need we would get some pressure from Poland. Okay, fine. Let's go to bonus I raise. Go for the maximum yields. Oh, and uh, also one thing. Um, yep. Wall at this point. Actually, how much is that? 22. That's. Yeah, that is six production from, from well, so. 
I should build that first. Can someone suggested that it comment in comments that it's probably a good idea to build a wall and uh, not wall well at this point because the yields are really nice for a building that you can actually build in one turn. We invest a little bit into it. And I agree with that. Next. Start working on the repairs. Uh, Alhambra is gone, that's fine, don't care about that. Just price, this is this is a progress wonder. Oh don't remember that. Alhambra. Um not progress, authority. How the hell? Really? Basically no one went authority. Only Sweden went authority. So here's our aggressor. I'd kind of expect Indonesia to go authority. But, uh... It's progress. They're not really doing that well. Japan is somehow it's so much better than almost anyone else. Also going progress. Uh, everyone went progress. Wow. Interesting. Uh, we have a spy. We get a spy. Someone entered a Renaissance era. Four turns b before we managed to get Renaissance era. Someone else managed to do it. But that's because we are uh, getting to Renaissance era through the middle of the tech tree and that always takes longer. Let's see. 1766. Yeah, they entered through banking. It was pretty obvious they had to go either, ba either banking or chemistry. Um, there's nothing important in banking, so we don't have to worry about uh, wonders too much. Astronomy. I think I have to go... Chemistry, then gunpowder, and then globe theater, and try to get all the wonders. It's gonna be difficult because I'd also like to get Sistine Chapel and Uffizi, and also Porcelain Tower. So, yeah. Probably have to pass on one or two of these. Oh well, for now, we need to get Chichen Itza, then we'll see. Now about the spy. You know that Inca have a tag that we won't have for quite a while. Problem is, actually they have to have civil service as well, so there is a guaranteed tag that I'll be able to steal from them. If I steal civil service, it's still fine. Move to Cusco as a spy. Next. Robodur is gone. There are some wonders that uh, wouldn't be horrible in this game. I could use the uh, the, the free missionaries from Borobudur in this game, but uh, there is so many wonders that we want to get. I have to prioritize. There's no way we'd get all of them. What was this? Gdansk. 668. Can we get something better? 5610. 868. Do we want to go for next shadow networks probably so we don't get anything extra from trade routes for a while i was thinking if i should go for the city state just to get the extra influence
Nine six eight is probably the best we can get. Yeah, let's go to Warsaw. Fortify. Red and Palace gone. Build that. Farway land. Who is Farway land? Forbidden Palace, Japan. The poverty reduction is quite nice, but that's about it. Okay, here is our great diplomat. Well, two turns for astronomy. Come on, that is delaying us quite a bit now. But we also don't have money for another marriage, so maybe it's not the end of the world. Okay. Next. We don't have the people to work the artist guild that we just finished, so... That's why I didn't even bother checking. Rock of Gibraltar. Nice. And once again, gain additional spy. Based on the number spies. Based on the number of city states in game. Um person culture in capital for every active spy or diplomat. If it's spy on or diplomat, does it mean it has to be in one of the cities of the major saves, or does it count also in city states? I don't think so. I think it has to be one of the major saves. Plus one science from specialist is nice, and science from constabularies that's not important. You should get like fifteen extra science. I wonder if we get one or two spies. A trade confederacy can wait. Are we gonna do Shadow Network Trade Confederacy? Then maybe exchange markets and the consulates last. Only one. I was hoping we would get two spies. Go to Poland. How many tags do they have? 29, 30, 27. Interesting that he's three tags behind Japan and he entered Renaissance era first. We have 28. Can maybe steal something from Poland. Uh, here. If they catch the spy, I'll just move him somewhere else. Wait. Next. Now we enter Renaissance era. Can. Finally, embark across oceans. Joyfully to the breeze. Do you know Just went over our. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Let me grab a drink. We also went over our unit cap, but. Um, I want to solve that problem with Himeji Castle. In this game, it's very likely that uh, at some point we'll have to fight, and we can't really defend ourselves with five units, so I'll have to go Himeji Castle and probably Brandenburg Gate as well. That's the only way how we can like noticeably increase our uh, unit cap. I also, we probably get our unique building, that 33% Great People Generation. 
is a pretty big deal. Okay, chemistry, gunpowder, printing press. Sure, that I want Sistine Chapel. I mean, it would be nice, but it's not the main priority for us. Thing is, I really should get it so that, uh, especially Poland, doesn't get it. If I go for it, I don't think I'll be able to get Porcelain Tower. So let's go Porcelain Tower after that. Economics, scientific theory, and we'll just forget about uh, Sistine Chapel. I don't think that we really care about Summer Palace that much at this point. Why one more emissary? Okay, profit. With the profit, I'll start in Jakarta and go north. These four cities will be the target. Um, trade diplomat travels to Brussels. Maybe followed by the newest emissary. These three will travel to Wellington. And we may not even need three, but I want to make sure I can get the alliance as soon as possible. Treasure wrapped in Vienna. Nice. Uh, we shouldn't have uh, like a real lot of money at any point, so whatever. Oh, there's one thing. How many quests do we have to build this? One. Oh, we've lost the alliance with Buenos Aires. Okay. Thought, what, something else? And another cathedral. How important is it? Order. Let me check orders. Ah, this probably should be D. Great. Thank you. That's <laughs> exactly what I wanted to know. Order. Uh, plus two five when you kill an enemy unit. Scaling with error. Oh, that's the militaristic one. And additional city hit points and strength. That could be important though. Where's that? 10 strength, 50 hit points. That's not a huge boost. No. I can't just build every wonder that wouldn't be bad for us. I only have to go for wonders that we need. We'll just have to hope that we can somehow get uh, the 20% coverage for our religion for the reformation. Okay, go. That was a pretty good boost. Next. Oh, we are about to get a great merchant. I was just about to say that. We need to find a way how to get more money uh, for all the marriages, but the merchant is also is our solution. 
And here's World Congress. Okay, so that's something we should be good at. Research stolen from Cusco. Yeah, I don't care about the research. I want tax. Uh, proposal. Oh, it's already proposal. That's the Inca who is the host. But with seven votes, I think we should be able to become the next host. And we are about to get more. Um, hmm. Global Peace Accord as the starter. Everyone would be happy. Yeah, if the player is not the aggressor in the game, then you, or it's very likely that the game overall will be very peaceful until the very late game. Uh, the way it works is that when you are aggressive, you are building up uh, the warmonger penalty. And the AIs hate warmongers. So that will force them, basically, to declare on you. And as they declare on you, they get their own warmonger penalty. And others start hating them. So suddenly, like, everyone is declaring on everyone else. And the world can't ever be peaceful. And it's all caused by an aggressive player. When the player is not the first one to start this warmonger snowball, the game should be very peaceful, but I still want all the, uh, the units to be, to be expensive. May even have enough votes, in, probably in the next congress, to uh, get a world religion. But do we really care about that? Um, position who have a majority of the cities in their empire following the religion. That additional delegate, okay, that would be nice. Founder of the religion uh, receives additional votes based on the number of civilizations following the religion. Well, there will be like one extra vote, probably. Red religion falls, the whole city receives tourism. Oh, don't really care about that. Question is, how much would others hate us if we get uh, had the word religion? start sanctioning people but i don't want to do that just yet i think the global peace accord is the only thing we care about right now it would hurt us a lot so we have to make sure city state sanctions don't ever pass but this is the only thing we really care about and i'm quite happy that uh, everyone else agrees That's a positive modifier. Okay, next. Oh yeah, you have tags that I want, so... I will just stay. You can auto explore. This cargo ship was to Ormus for 15 culture per turn. Damn. And, uh, should have trade route with Buenos Aires, right? Oh, we don't have the social policy that uh, generates influence. Uh, Six, eight, twelve, seven, nine, and that's just better. Maybe I'll even go to Riga this time. And uh, get to some pressure on them. At some point, probably want to flip my city state allies to my religion.
Sweden robbed the treasury. Successful assassination in Warsaw. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. But Sweden, listen. Stop spying on me. One more thing. Now I'll just start spamming missionaries for a while. Basically until we reform. A promise. Go somewhere else. Maybe I'll just... I don't want to go back to Vienna because of the social policy. I may have to though. Because we kind of have to defend our capital. There are just more and more people uh, interested in our capital. So we want to move from Warsaw. Look at that. Such a juicy target. Okay, it's not surprising that there are so many agents in our capital. Listen, stop spying on me. Probably tell that to everyone. <laughs> uh, and uh, who's left? I think it's the last one. Citrus, can we get citrus somewhere? Japan, how much do you want for your citrus? Five gold per turn? Sure. That is a good deal. Actually, leave one emissary <clears throat> around Brussels. We will go north. There we go. So now it's pretty close between us and Ottoman, so if they send one emissary, they'll get the city back, and we need 10 turns of an alliance uninterrupted to be able to get the marriage so that's why i want to support the influence with an emissary as quickly as possible and there shouldn't be really any competition for for wellington it seems next sorry Hey, okay. it's not surprising that he's plotting against us. What are the modifiers? I called stealing. Yeah, that's the modifier I really wanted to avoid. Probably a mistake sending a spy to him. Okay. There is our wonder, Wheel of the King Day. Like to get Buenos Aires back without the use of an emissary, but I probably don't have a choice. It actually might be more important than this point. Okay, so let's do it this way. I'll pop this guy first. One, two, you will follow, we try to get one more emissary that will get Buenos Aires back for us. I think the next social policy, yeah, that will help as well. 
go. And I just entered Renaissance era. Um, it's pretty important that we know how they did that. The press is Henry, great merchant. Yeah. 1766. Okay, so not this way. 1766. 1683. Someone has printed. That's Japan. Japan has printing press. Which means you can probably forget about Globe. Where is the closest city state? Or, 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 want the gold as soon as possible. As for the new citizen, with growing 14, 15, but we need artists because artists mean golden ages. Now with Chichen Itza, I think the next artist will actually be popped for a golden age. What if I just... What's the difference? Two turns? I think the golden age is more important than another great work of writing. No. Ironworks... Are definitely worth... In Investing it. I was hoping we'd get two turns worth of production. Sometimes, when you have a building that's gonna be finished in three turns and you invest into it, it goes down to one. And sometimes it's only one turn that you save. I, I have not found a way yet how to tell when you get or when you buy two turns and when you buy only one turn. So the state quests. What are you looking at? Tourism. Yeah, we probably won't be able to win the tourism race either. Holland is getting tourism from multiple cities. Uh, acquire the city of Wuj. Where is Wuj? It's not gonna happen. Under intelligent operation against Casimir. I just told him I want. And look at the reward. That is almost the whole tech and 400 influence, almost. Jeez, what the hell? Okay, listen, Poland. You just have to understand that sometimes there is no other way. I don't really care about Cusco. Can I just send him as a diplomat? Would it work? No. Has to be a spy, right? Intelligence operation against Casimir. Which one is that? Is that... That is a spy, right? I'm not sure. Yeah, it has to be a spy. Back to Warsaw. And where is our prophet? Almost forget about him. Next turn. How many people can we put? Nine. 
It's enough to flip the city. That'll probably have to do for now. I can't afford to waste two charges on one city. Because we didn't uh, take the belief that uh, uh, makes our great profits cheaper. They're actually quite precious and we have to use them as effectively as possible. Clients. Oh. In hundred. That would give us chemistry. What do we have to build at this point? Out of these, to be honest. We can start working on the Leaning Tower right away. Maybe we'll get the second great profit from Leaning Tower. That should secure basically a reformation, believe. Nineteen turns is quite a long time. Okay, next. What is this? Forty. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Okay, I think we can get the alliance right away. It was easier than I expected. Somehow the yields are now higher from. Emissaries. I probably should buy one more. Although we don't have that much money, so it might be better to just build him. Save the money for marriages. They are becoming quite expensive. I have to be careful how I invest our gold. Next. All on now, ally of Riga. Seriously? Oh, hey. We need samurai. It looks so cool. Hello? There. What does it look like with the race? We have 10,000... We have 7.5, someone else is 10.5. Here is the difference. What? Almost 4,000. There is no way we'd get this. This is quite weak. Uh, we are barely getting maturity. There is no pressure from anyone else, but with only 8 followers, it's so easy to take the city away from us. I hope that Poland will just focus on their own cities, same for example as Spain. And that will give us some time to spread our religion to Indonesia before they can uh, basically take it away. We can't really compete with uh, an AI that goes for the same cities as we do. Open borders. No. No. I want to get the writer in this episode. Tacticians from Tyra want you to capture Krakow. Nope. I get some quests that are actually doable. Let's check the tourism race. Where is that? Why do you have the lead with 22 per turn? So it's per turn, not. Uh, like the overall amount. Oh, we might be able to get this one. Oh, 
Let's just stay here. If I don't have to pop this guy, I'll just save him for something else. Okay, that's fine. I don't care about that. Now, how much would that be? 1600? Yeah. So there is no way you'd get enough culture to win those races. So it's just gonna be another great work. Because the amount of culture you get from writers is scaling up with the amount of great works that you already have. Uh, so later, uh, we should be uh, able to get a lot of culture from every writer, but it's gonna take a while. How long do we need for the marriage? Eight turns so far. Let's play two more turns and get that marriage. Well, this is much better. 12 out, 12 out of 13. Yeah, this is more like what I expected. Here we steal a city from Poland. Spices. We don't care about spices anymore. That was just for Wheel of the King Day. But we want to sell our chocolate back again. Six gold per turn. Oh, don't want the ore luxuries. I just want the money. One more turn. Yep. Next. The day became... We should probably also upgrade our units. Now we got quite a few upgrades. We just got Tercios and we still have Spearmen on the map. Well, that's the problem with all these uh, city-state marriages. They are getting more expensive and probably will take all our gold to get them. What does it look like with our coverage? 8% more global followers. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, and I wanted to... Sw Actually, I already switched to the Artist Guild. Whoops. How long do we need here? Six turns so far. So four more turns. Uh, I probably won't be able to get enough money to get the marriage right away. Well, let's get the Artist. The one city, city challenge, it's always like, okay, this will be enough, but we are only two turns away from something, let's get that, and then we are two turns away from something else, let's get that as well. Somehow we got the artist in only one turn. Vancouver, you are what? You're a maritime, that's nice, that's more food. Where are you? That was quick. Here. No one cares about you. Because you are hostile. But, well, we care about all city-states. So that's probably our next target. We just want to get all the maritime city states as soon as possible and make sure our capital never stops growing. Now, here, 10 turns. Well, that'll be a lot more than 10 turns. Well, let's make sure we can't get more. 
it's 10. But I think with the bonuses that we have, we should be able to get around 20. We are, what, 32 turns away from the natural golden age. If we get this one, then we should get the next one right after. Yeah, sure, that's worth it. 17. Still fine. What's the next great person? Engineer? That's not bad, because we get the great engineer in time to boost the Himeji castle. Probably to finish it. I'll take that. And are we working everything? Yeah, everything except the Writer's Guild. That we will work again in four turns. Good. We are one turn away from the next social policy, so let's get that as well. So here we can get back our alliance. Thank you. And Poland just entered Medi uh, I mean Renaissance era. Uh, other ones now out of Brussels. Dude. The only thing that saves us. How the hell? Thirteen. Well, if we send the trade route with our next social policy, we should solve the problem. Why are you fighting other ones? Oh, this is City with strength 5, so there's probably just like, one random ship hitting it. Yeah, this will fall next turn. On the city state for Laventa. That's a nice production boost in the right time. Where is Laventa? Laventa is. Okay. That's a lot of influence the Inca have. Yep, this is gonna be an amazing tool for us how to maintain the alliances. As often when we lose the alliance, it's only a few points. And using a diplomat on that is a waste of resources, so we, if we can get that just with the trade route, that's a perfect solution. I hope it starts right now with the social policy and already applies with the trade routes that are in place, that I don't have to like renew the trade routes for this to kick in. I guess we'll find out soon, because we need 6 influence to flip Riga, uh, and we have a trade route there, so we'll find out in a few turns. If this works. What are this? Um, just start working on... That was enough to flip the city right away. Great. But look at that. We are falling behind. We need... Oh, we lost Makassar, and there is Medan. Fine. In five turns, we are definitely getting a profit. Flip these two back. There's probably another... Is there a city? Or is it just Jakarta? One, two, three, four, six. No, there is no way this would be Jakarta only. There has to be another city here. So we flip one, two, three, and then one random city south and it may actually give us enough for the reformation but well that's gonna be in the next episode this one is over so i hope that you liked it i hope that you can join me next time again and until then have a good time bye bye